Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is The Horseman and today's video I will be delivering all the facts regarding Michael Jackson being mentioned in Jeffrey Epstein's infamous list. Before we begin this video, I want to give a content warning as it contains topics that some may find disturbing or upsetting. You already know the drill. This video contains constant stuttering and subtitles will be available in the settings. Viewer discretion is advised. In response to recent revelations about Epstein's list and the inclusion of Michael Jackson's name in unsealed court documents, it's crucial to examine the facts before jumping into conclusions. The court documents in question were unsealed as part of a 2015 lawsuit filed by victim Virginia Jeffrey against Jelaine Maxwell, Epstein's girlfriend, who was convicted in 2021 for her, for her involvement in recruiting and sexually abusing underage victims. Maxwell received a 20-year sentence. Uh, Michael Jackson's name was among of many other names that surfaced in these, in these documents, but it's important to note that he was not accused of any wrongdoing. The documents reveal that Jackson's name is mentioned, but only once, and he is associated with a visit to Jeffrey Epstein's residence in Palm Beach, Florida in 2002, not the infamous island. The context surrounding this visit is crucial to understanding the, the nature of Jackson's connection to Epstein. James Maskin, Michael Jackson's financial advisor at the time, played a key role. Michael was experiencing financial difficulties and a conflict with Sony after they failed to promote his album, Invisible, and Maskin was working to address these issues. In 2021, Michael's name appeared in Epstein's address book, but his number was not listed. Instead, it was a reference to Samuel Jen, Maskin's lawyer. Before Jeffrey Epstein um, gained infamy for his crimes, the sick bastard, he was known as a financer. Mayskin and Jen arranged a business meeting between Epstein, Jackson, and other financiers to discuss solutions to Michael's financial problems. Despite these efforts, the collaboration ended in bad terms in 2002. Contrary to speculation, Michael Jackson visited Jeffrey Epstein only once, not for legal activities. The purpose of the meeting was to discuss business matters through lawyers and financial advisors. It's emphasized that Jackson did not engage in any inappropriate acts such as a, a, an alleged massage as mentioned in the documents. Additionally, it's essential to understand that being mentioned, mentioned in Epstein's documents does not automatically implicate someone in, in illegal activities. The list comprises in, individuals who may be indirectly or directly linked to the, to the abuse or are mentioned uh, circumstantially. Naomi Campbell, for, for instance, is on, is on the list but was not involved in Epstein's crimes. Her party was merely named. The inclusion of names in the, in the document did not necessarily indicate guilt, and further examination of additional documents may provide clarity on the generally guilty parties. Therefore, it is crucial to approach the information with a discerning perspective and await further development in the case. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, subscribe and ring the bell icon so you won't miss my latest videos. I upload video essays every other Monday and some of Michael's music every Friday. Comment your thumbs on this video and I will see you all in the next one.